Good morning, students. Today we are starting our third chapter, that is human settlements and land use. First, we are going to see see human settlements. What is human settlements? Man is a social animal, and he prefer to live in a group with the other people. Why it is? Because if any wrong happens, like attack of animal or attack of enemy he can together he can fight with the enemy and he can save himself from the enemies human ha habitat is in the form of settlements generally we uh, see that man is living in a house in the ancient time man was wandered he was roaming he was moving from one place to another later on he started settled at one place in previous stage in the first stage he started settled in the caves because caves were ready made available but there also because the animals were coming so it was difficult for him to save them himself from the animals later on he created he built a house the house was made with the material which was available in nearby areas so he was making the houses and he was living over there when man is building a house or select a place when he choose a place to settle man considers so many factors what are these factors that we are going to see the very first factor that is physical factor now we all know that any aspect any element of which is related to man physical factors are very much important when man is settling at a place first physical factors he has to consider now in physical factors all natural factors are considered in that the first factor that is physiography in the physiography generally we can consider that is altitude again in physiography three land forms are important in that plains plateaus and mountains mountainous regions are inaccessible uh, lack of facilities uh, uh, severe um, climatic conditions at a higher altitude so and uh, unavailability of facilities so man cannot settle over there then the second uh, landform is plateau region plateau region is a source of mineral and that's why mineral based activities mining activities and the industries are located and so we see the more cluster than the mountainous region in the plateau regions the third landform that is plain region a plain region is where accessibility is there facilities are available agriculture is available agro based industries are available which are providing the jobs to the people so availability of all the aspects which are needed for the man so in the plain regions man prefer to settle so physiography is very much important uh, when the man prefer or man uh, decide to settle in a place the second factor is climate now man cannot settle in the severe climatic conditions like very high temperature or very low temperature 
if we consider the glow if we see the glow the equatorial areas are the areas where temperature is very high rainfall is very high and so we see the less population in the equatorial regions similarly in the north and south pole region which is called polar region in this region the severe cold climatic condition the land is covered with ice where inaccessibility severe conditions and so population cannot settle over there and that's why we see the less settlements because population is less so settlement is less now the third region that is temperate region now temperate region temperate region is the region which is in between 23 and 1/2 degree to 66 and 1/2 degree this region in both the hemisphere in both the hemisphere this is the region where climate is moderate means moderate temperature moderate rainfall so the most of the population we see in the region and similarly we see the settlements the number of settlements are more in this region so climate is also one of the factor which man consider when we decide to settle in particular place now the third factor is soil third factor is soil soil is very much important for agriculture activity if the soil is not fertile agriculture cannot be practiced and so we see that in the flood plain areas in on the banks of the rivers people settled because in these regions soil is fertile and agriculture can be practiced and that is why we see the number of settlements are more in the region the next factor is minerals uh, minerals are very much important for the industrial development because minerals are the base of economic development and they are important in the industries because all other industries agro industries uh, other industries are depend totally depend on the uh, mineral based industries so where the minerals are available the mineral based activities like industries are settled and so people gathered in the region they come in the region to get the opportunity to get the jobs over there and we see the more population in these areas where the minerals are available the fifth factor the fifth factor is water now we need water for drinking purpose for domestic purpose for agriculture for industries all the purpose we need the uh, water and that water we need fresh water the fresh water sources are rivers lakes uh, reservoirs uh, dams uh, same reservoir and uh, wells uh, then underground water these are the sources of water so the areas where these sources are available people settled over there so we can see that the settlements man choose